Hold on a second. Pyro guy one one zero four says New England chowder clears y'all main cucks. That is so silly, and it's you don't even know. Okay, you don't know what you're saying and how silly it sounds. Okay, because while uh, while it does offend me on a certain level, it's also kind of like um, it's kind of like like a like a cat trying to shit talk a lion, okay? Where the lion is just like, that's funny. Stop meowing so loudly. Any, if you like, if you like a soup that is mostly f unflavored flour, then you go with the New England chowder. The New England chowder. How pathetic. You can't even, you don't even have the courage with a New England chowder to name it after a specific place, okay? With a main clam chowder, it's a mainas. Clam chowder, okay? What, New England? You have to try and scoop everybody in with your fucking bullshit, just like how you scoop in, you know, fucking handful after handful of flour? It's like, uh, it's like drinking, uh, a, a, it's like, it would be more accurate if you called it clam gravy. But even that wouldn't do it justice, because then it would have to compete with other gravies, and it wouldn't win, Okay? Enjoy your thin, watery, boring slop. I'll be enjoying thick, hearty goodness. Do you know what the word hearty means? Do you know what hearty means? Hearty doesn't refer to having filler in there. That's not what hearty means. Hearty means lots of meat and vegetables, not filler. You can't, you can't roll in here and say, oh, it's hearty. It's got a loaf of bread jammed into it. You want to know why main clam chowder is thinner? It's because there's clams in it. A lot of clams and butter and milk and it's delicious and it doesn't taste like you're sucking down a wet loaf of bread. When was the last time? When was the last fucking time that you sat down and went, wouldn't it be cool? If I soaked a loaf of bread in clam juice and then soaked a second loaf of bread in clam juice and then soaked a third loaf of bread in clam juice until it's just like sort of mushy bread that feels vaguely of clam. No. See, the last time, uh, 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 the, the, the last time I was craving something clam related, I ate clams, not bread soaked in bullshit. Okay. To be honest, main clam chowder seems like a good drink. Are you, where are you people coming from? Main clam chowder is not thin, okay? It's thinner than your filler bullshit. But this is the thing that annoys me. What I'm biting the bait at this point, which, eat, which I should know a clam would not bite bait. A f only a fish would, and I'm being a fish right now. But this is ridiculous, okay? This is, the, the, the inaccuracy is what really gets under my skin. It's, it's unbelievable. Texas barbecue clears both New England and Maine cucks. Don't even start with me, okay? Texans, don't you fucking roll in here, all right? We know what's going on down in Texas, and we know that your barbecue gets cleared by the Carolinas, specifically North Carolina. North Carolina barbecue blows Texas's ass out like a fucking tire. Oops! Oh, uh oh, oh, oh! We t oh, we found the we found the fragile Texan. Ooh. I'm sorry that you sold your state out to chain restaurants. Isn't it a shame that in your own state you have to drive around and see Texas Roadhouse on every goddamn corner? What a shame. What an embarrassment. What's it feel like to have to mad cope that you have to, that everything in every store in Texas on every corner and everywhere that you can see has to be a Texas shaped, Texas shaped waffle, Texas shaped drink cup, Texas shaped pan so you can make a Texas shaped steak because you've sold, you've gutted your own state in the name of fucking Texas Roadhouse and fucking Whataburger and the oil industry. Don't even get me fucking started with Texas, okay? You can't claim shit on anyone, especially to 
walk in talking mad shit. You guys think you're big. You feel all big, but you're gonna start crying your fucking eyes out the moment that you try to step to a Mainer or a fucking Carolinan. Where you get your hat a little bit bigger so you can protect your feelings a little more. Oh, you got nothing. You got nothing. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this. The chat is turning against the Texans and now they're coping. Now the Texans are going, yeah. this is why we're, we're the Lone Star State. We do it alone because you guys don't understand us when we call you on your bullshit. You walk in going, howdy, howdy, howdy. And you got your hat this big and you're like, you guys suck ass. And then everybody throws back at you and you're like, ooh, Lone Star. They just don't know what it's like to meet Texas. I think it depends on the milkshake, right, Staroxvia? Everyone remembers Texas. No one gives a crap about Maine. Everyone remembers Texas because you won't let us forget. Everyone's trying to, to forget Texas, and you will not let us stop. Mama never had a moist brisket with a beef rib and jalapeno sausage. I feel bad for her. First of all, why the fuck would you call it a moist brisket? The fuck are you? What the fuck is that name? Oh, that sounds like, it sounds like what a weird pervert would type into fucking Pornhub. Moist brisket. Oh, I need to see her moist brisket. Shut the fuck up. And by the way, I've had tons of barbecue and it's fucking great. And guess what? I've eaten food all over fucking Texas because I've been to Texas a million times. You want to know what sucks about Texas? There is good food there, but it's buried under a mountain of fucking uh, tchotchkes and bullshit. You have to walk through 15 stores that say, you don't mess with Texas. And like 16 cartoonish self caricatures because they're so desperate to prove themselves to everyone else. You know? You say, oh, nobody's ever heard of Maine. Right. And guess what? We don't fucking care. We enjoy our shit and we're proud of our shit. We share with you the beauties of Moxie, of Clam Chowder, and y'all come in here fucking talking mad shit. Get blown the fuck out. Moist brisket. Coping, coping hard. I haven't heard a single argument from you. I haven't heard a single argument from you, Ness. Not one argument. Zero arguments, only mad cope. Sounds like a tourist problem. Oh, yeah, blame it on the tourists. You know who else gets tourists? Maine. We build containment cities for them. In Maine, we have cities that are ruined by tourists. It's one city. And you go there if you want to, if you need to see what it's like in the tourist world. And everybody else, nobody knows. You don't tell them about the cool spots. You only know if you're in the know. Yeah, see? Jesse knows! Look at that! Jesse in chat knows exactly what I'm talking about! Oh my god! The yes, exactly! That's what I'm saying, Jesse! What tourists? See, Ness, this is another moment. Hold on, let me just read this out real quick. I need to read this out, okay? Just so you guys understand how ridiculous this is. I need to blow this up, okay? Again, like I said, it's the inaccuracy that makes me funny. What tourist, the old couple visiting all 50 states? That is the, like, that is the most, like, I, I don't know who travels where. Do you, Maine's, like, economy is, like, fueled by how much tourism it gets. During the summer months, Maine is like one of the most hot tourist destinations. You can go look at magazines right now. Go right now. I challenge you right now. Go search how many times travel magazines have featured Bar Harbor, Maine as one of the number one tourist destinations in the entire country. In little old Maine, a state of a million people that's mostly trees and clams. And yet everybody keeps coming back. It is, it is, it was literally Maine, there were so many tourists that Maine's temporarily changed its, its state, um, what was it called? The like, not motto, cause it's always been dear ago, but it's like title. It changed it to Maine vacation land. That's how popular it was. Also, Maine has had not just one, but two 
eras of massive, massive, massive tourism. Because back in the night in the Gilded Age in the 1920s, uh, there was a there was an entire town of boardwalks that every summer would be full of the richest people in the goddamn world touristing there. A, a containment city. See, because the people of Maine know, unlike Texas that just turned itself inside out the moment it's like, oh God, please fill me up with your McDonald's's. Come on, this is silly. This is so silly. Vacation land from poutine lovers. This is what you, do you see what you've had to resist yourself to? You've had to turn to racism. That's what you had to do. You, you had to transform yourself into a, a discriminatory prejudiced individual towards French Canadians. And I, frankly, I think that's disgusting. I think it's disgusting that this is what we have to come to. This is how hard Texas has to try. So insecure, so insecure. Oh, okay, Ke Lady Kelgana, so true. Lady Kelgana says, as a native Texan, I'm. Th this is embarrassing me. Plus, our barbecue is mid. Texas's best food is Tex-Mex. You spoken like a true visionary, right there. You see, Lady Kelgana, that's how you, that is the true spirit of the the real brave Texans. The the Texans who are confident in their Texanness. They know that it's the chili and the Tex-Mex, that's the real treasure of Texas, not fucking barbecue where you get aced and looped and run around like crazy by the fucking Carolinas. Defending French Canadians, they LARP as French people? What are you talking about? No, they don't. That's their entire thing. French Canadians don't LARP as French people. They LARP, they, they're all about being French Canadian. They're like, they're like, I can't even do the, I can't even do the Quebecois accent because it's so deranged. Their whole thing is that they're not French and they're not Canadian. That they're Quebecois. They even have their own fucking name for it. They're, listen, they're crazy, okay? I'm not saying they're not crazy, but the fact that they're like, we are Quebecois nationalists. They're totally fucking different. And yeah, exactly. As Jesse, once again, Mainers destroying the chat. MVP of the chat. Jesse comes in and says, Putin is only Canadian, not French. Exactly. You don't get Putin from France. You get Putin from Montreal. You go to the west coast of Canada and they feature Montreal Putin. A, a true Texan knows that authentic Mexican food is greater than Tex-Mex any fucking day. See, this is where it's just, it's just fumble after fumble in the YouTube chat. Tex-Mex should be Mex-Tex. That's the thing, because if you get good Tex-Mex in Texas, it's made by Mexican people. That's how it goes. Texans and Mexicans are like this, but the blindness of the modern Texan can't see that they should be together. Basically what I'm saying is liberate the Alamo now. Yeah. Thank you, Staroxvia. Staroxvia says the average Texan today is too racist to understand their potential. This is exactly what this is exactly what I'm talking about. We're right back to where we've looped all the way back around with a fucking resounding the the shot heard around the world. Bam! Right back to here. Nailed it. Oh yeah, no argument. Real Mexican food is so much better than Tex-Mex. Won't argue with that. Tex-Mex is not in competition with real Mexican food. Tex-Mex is a form of real Mexican food. That's like being like, oh my God, like, oh, like, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, oh my God, it is, it's like, it is. It, Tex-Mex is made by Mexican people who are in Texas and became Texans right along, oh my God. Yeah, that's like being like, oh, it's not the real pizza because I didn't buy it from Italy. And then you go to Italy and there's no fucking pizza there because they don't make pizza in fucking Italy. And General Sao's chicken is real Chinese food, right? First of all, not even fucking the same thing. Not even the same thing. General Sao's, General Sao's chicken however it said, it was like a, a, a manufactured recipe 
that was designed specifically by a uh, by the Chinese a Chinese American Restaurant Association to create a dish that could directly appeal to Americans to help uh, to to help Chinese immigrants get their footing in America because America was fucking racist. Not even close to the same thing. Tex Mex. I mean, and also Chinese Amer Chinese American cuisine is fucking baller. It's not all just General So's. The fact that you think, oh, Chinese American, uh, that's like uh, General So's, right? Come on. What is this showing from Texas? What is going on here? A, a Chinese American cuisine is fucking crazy. It goes so hard. It's way, way more than just General So's. Same thing as fucking Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex is a whole world of, of, I can't believe this. I'm defending Texas to the Texans. Do you understand what a, what a, what a, Foul defeat this is for Texas. That the Texans came in shit talking Maine. The Texans came in shit talking the the ascendant beauty of a Maine clam chowder. And then it came so far around that they undermined their own state and I had to defend it for them. Just oh what a what an what an what an awful turn of events. Oh my god. This is just, oof. No, it fucking isn't. You are so wrong about this. You are so wrong about this pyro guy. I can't even believe it. C coping about the clam water, okay. Now this is, we're reaching into the bait territory, but hold on a second, I just need to show you. I just want you guys to understand, this is what the Texans in chat are calling they're saying that what I'm about to show you, okay? I'm about to show you a main clam chowder, okay? All right, and they're calling this clam water, all right? I want you to understand just how ridiculous and goofy these people sound, okay? Right here, okay, ready? Are you prepared? Feast your eyes on a real main clam chowder, okay? And this is what they're trying to say this is what you're being gaslit into believing is clam water. I'm sorry, but you can literally see the fat and the cream and the whole belly clams, mountains. If, have you ever, and I just, just an honest, an honest question real quick, okay? Have you ever gone to a restaurant and ordered New England, England clam chowder and seen this many clams in it? Or do you get handed a bowl of flour with unidentifiable meat squares in it and they call that a clam chowder? Tell me what the real truth is because I know what the real truth is. And these posers, these Texan frauds in my YouTube chat want you to believe that what you are looking at right now, this delicious chowder is clam water. I just, I just needed, I needed, a, I just needed a, a, a reality check for all of us in chat who haven't had our brains cooked by the, uh, the, the oil sands of Texas. Okay. It looks bomb as fuck. It is bomb as fuck. I'm telling you, it is main clam chowder is one of the single most like it's, you know, that scene in uh, Ratatouille where Anton Ego, he bites the ratatouille and then he's teleported back in time. That's what it feels like when I eat main clam chowder. That's what it will feel like to you. You'll take a bite of main clam chowder and you'll be teleported to a childhood that you didn't even live and it will feel like yours. You'll be, you'll be playing on the beach down in, in uh, you know, in Acadia National Park. You never have been there in your goddamn life. And the craziest thing is, it's not even that hard to make. Listen to this, okay? I'm just gonna read you a sampling, okay? I'm gonna read you a sampling of the Tex of the Texas, uh, the Texas, the authentic Texas, definitely not cope, Texas-sized 
It comes in a bottle that's shaped like Texas, and it has the bottle lid is a little fucking 10 gallon hat that says Texas Ranger on it, okay? This is the definitely not cope straight from authentic Texas, all right? Ready? Listen to this. You're coping. You're still coping about your clam water. Our food clears. It's just cope from the main cucks. All right, guess what's gonna come next? Is it gonna be, oh, you're coping? Oh, here's the next message. You're coping. Your chowder is literally expired milk, but it has clam in it. Don't mess with Texas, right? Am I right, guys? Okay, here's another one. Again, listen, Pyro Guy is trying, okay? Pyro Guy is, Pyro Guy, Pyro Guy is, is, uh, is reaching right now, okay? DM mad because she only ever ate at the tourist spots and doesn't know real Texas or Mexican, Mexican cuisine. You don't know, you don't understand how wrong you are, okay? You do, you genuinely do not understand how wrong you are. You don't know how much time I've spent in Texas and who I've spent time in Texas with, okay? I've spent an inordinate amount of time in Texas all with Texas natives, okay? For real. Is it really a main thing to say, a yeah, a yeah? It is. Although that's a little bit of a stereotype. It's a little bit overstated, but it, but it is there for sure. Um, also, Adia Bub. Bub is another one, and Hane. Um, yeah, that's, that's real. Yep. The Down East accent is not as common as it used to be, but um, it's still there. It's still present in Maine. True, Gayfesh. Gayfesh says if they doubt how much time you spent in Texas, they can always just ask their moms. Woo! B -b 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 Bazinga. Ness, look, look, Ness says washed Mainer. Well, I'd rather be a washed Mainer than an unwashed Texan any day. So let's, let's fucking bring it. You got anything else? One, here's a, here's a thing though, Staroxvia. Don't worry about it too bad because, um, you, you can pick up regionalisms just by spending time in those areas. So just endeavor to go there. Um, most places are not really weird about it. Most places are like thrilled to have people, uh, come into their area and pick up cool stuff. Like, I mean, I've been in Washington now for so long, um, that, you know, you start to pick up, you start to pick up stuff from living there. And once you've been there, like I've been here for Jesus, how many years have I lived in, in Washington now? It's been like almost a decade that I've lived in Washington and you know, nobody's going to there's like almost no one that's going to be like, oh, you don't, you don't have a real. They're like happy that you get their stuff, you know? Pyro guy says, demon mama, all jokes aside, I've been laughing my ass off for the last 10 minutes and enjoyed this battle of the States. Main chowder, while slightly inferior, is still delicious. Got a crash. <laughs> Love you. Rest well. I have had a good time with this as well. We definitely are going to have to, I should turn this into a, I should turn this into a segment for sure. <laughs> <laughs>